This is a book on combinatorics. It's called Applied Combinatorics, and it was written by Alan Tucker. In this video, we're going to take a brief look at this book. I don't have that many books on combinatorics, which makes this one kind of special. Usually combinatorics is covered in discrete math books. So a lot of colleges use those to cover the material. Alan Tucker, State University of New York at Stony Brook. And then here is the copyright. This is pretty old. Looks like 19, 1980. Wow. Wow, that was a long time ago. Let's take a look at the preface. Combinatorial reasoning underlies all analysis of computer systems. It plays a similar role in discrete operations, research problems, and in finite probability. Two of the most basic mathemat mathematical aspects of computer science concern the speed and logical structure of a computer program. Speed involves enumeration of the number of times of each step in a program can be performed. Cool. Logical structure involves flowcharts, a form of graphs. Here are the contents, so you can see what it contains, sorts of set theories and basic stuff. Counting methods for arrangements and selections. Generating functions. Recurrence relations. Inclusion, exclusion. Polya's enumeration formula. Elements of graph theory. Covering circuits and graphic coloring. Trees and searching and network algorithms. And games with graphs. And you have solutions in the back to some of the exercises. Let's go there right away so we can see what that contains. Here we can see the solutions to the selected exercises. So we do have quite a bit, which is kind of nice. Look at that, I have to smell it. I'm sorry, it's calling me, just, oh, it smells amazing, it smells amazing. Let me give it one more whiff on the inside, just. Oh, let's take a look at the beginning of the book so you can see how hard it is. Um, it's, it's actually not too bad. And it's a solid book. And I think it's still available, so I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to pick up a copy. It's probably still in print or reprinted, uh, I'm thinking, uh, but I don't know for sure. I haven't looked. Yeah, so just basic set theory stuff. You, you don't need any, I mean, you could just start with this. The prereq for this is I mean, set theory, so anyone can learn this in theory, right? You just read the material. It's not, it's not that bad. Same thing with logic, right? Induction. Induction's hard. I mean, it's hard to teach yourself induction, right? But... You could do it. I had a really hard time understanding induction when I first learned it. I didn't know why it worked. I didn't understand intuitively why it worked. And it took me a long time to figure it out. You just some classic induction problems. I have videos for most of these. Actually, for all of these. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a video for every single problem here. Um, it's kind of funny. That's not my handwriting either. I didn't circle those. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have that one too. I have a video for this and it has some dislikes, a lot of dislikes, because people don't understand it. Those inequality proofs with induction are a little bit harder, I think, to learn for people. And so I struggled with them, so I think that a lot of people do as well. Oh, this is really important. Probability equals number of favorable cases over the total number of cases. Yeah. yeah it's just really straight to the point, right? It's, it's a solid book. This is a really good book. Got a lot of stuff in it. Generating function models. Let's take a look at this. It says here, let's read this together. Suppose a sub r is the number of ways to select r objects in a certain procedure. Then g of x is the generating function for a sub r if g of x has the polynomial expansion. Cool, right? It says if the polynomial has an infinite number of terms, it is called a power series. Here's some of the exercises. Yeah, it's pretty good. It'd be nice if they had more answers. I mean, look how many exercises there are, right? But that's how it is with most books. At least the book is really good. Yeah. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. I just wanted to show you this book. It's a solid book on combinatorics if you can find it. And yeah, I think it's worth it. Take care.